Welcome back everybody, Barry13 signing on to Let's Play Mario 64 DS. Um, I changed the setting in Camtasia Studio for this thing to, um... Instead of capturing 30 frames per second, it's gonna be 60 frames per second to make the videos have more frames or something like that. To make them look more smooth, because I was looking through them and they really look really weird. So 60 frames per second, make more smooth animation. This game is still going fast, even with those 60 frames flowing. I'm not even gonna bother testing it. In fact, this was the test. If the game was gonna run slow, I was gonna drop the frames back to 30. Anyway, you might be wondering, what are you doing, Pikachu? You're repeating a star, aren't you? Well, yeah, I am repeating a star, but I'm not gonna get the star again. I'm gonna do something called collecting 100 coins. Because that's what you do in Mario 64. And Sunshine. But not Galaxy. In Galaxy, there are no coins. Yes, there are, Pikachu. Yeah! Well, tell me what place you actually got to get 100 in them. Let alone 50. I mean 50, let alone 100. Learn to speak English. <laughs> Fail. Oh my god. Again, I'll say it, Mar Super Mario Sunshine was a good game, I loved it. I loved the whole flood thing, I don't know why people found it a bad game. I, even the voice acting, I didn't mind the voice acting. For a Mario game, that was pretty good voice acting, compared to other games where characters don't even sound like they're trying to sound like they actually care what they're saying. Although I do have to say, it doesn't matter what game you're playing, Toad will always have the most annoying voice in the history of video games. Well, there are probably a lot worse voices. Let's just be happy Toad doesn't sound like Pee Wee Herman. God, I'm imagining that right now. This is the most boring thing ever, collecting a hundred coins. Although it gets really intense when you have 99 coins and you don't know where the for juckers to find the last one. Lies, this is a mush a, a red mushroom, not a green mushroom. Get up there! Get down there! Get on! According to my map, there's nothing down here. That's what I love about the map system. There's no such thing as blind jumps. Anyway, let's make the piranha plant not respawn. There you are! What? Where my mushroom, woman? Anyway... Get the- Don't die! No! No! I died. REVENGE! ROAR! Oh no, it hurt me. Anyway, I got 41 coins out of that. Awesome. And now I'm already halfway done. 
Eh, I might as well skip this, but I'm not going to because I'm so close to my target already. And they really throw coins like it's nothing in this level. Although in the original version, I have to say, it really is a lot harder to actually get coins. Anyway, that's basically it. Only nine coins left. I think there are nine coins in that circle right there. I already got some. Punch. Falcon Punch. Two coins. Get on the log. And when you get a star, it's gonna appear right on top of your head. And as to not disrupt how much progress you made on a level, they're gonna ask you to save, and you don't really have to exit the level, but we already got all the coins here, so we're just gonna exit. Oh, thank God. All right, finally we got to do we get to do this. I had a hard time doing this as a kid, and now it's just super easy for me. And I probably just jinx it by saying that. Although I don't get how you can jinx it, it's too pathetically easy now. I mean, I, I'm a grown man now. I'm grown up. All grown up in the show stinks! They ruined the Rugrats with all grown up. Anyway. Unlike you sh Don't land on the star. Okay, good. Unlike the original game. There's only... Oops. There's only one switch in this game. Unlike the original game, which has plenty. And basically, unlike the first game, the switches in this game, um, it's basically the whole reason why you have different characters. Basically, you're gonna get a power flower, which has different side effects to different um, people. It's basically like... I don't know. A one power-up that has different effects on different people. Like drugs. I'm gonna think about what I just said there. Anyway, right here, I'm gonna demonstrate Mario's power flower ability. The super feather. I mean the... I'll, I'd call it the cape feather, but it just makes him wing cap Mario. It doesn't give him a cape or anything. Which I think is, like, not as epic as him having a cape and flying around the level, being all like... It basically controls the same thing as the same way as a cape does. Like you go down and then you go up, you go down and then you go up. Only not as frequently. Anyway, in the new Super Mario game that's coming out for the 3DS, I hope they add the cape fe the cape feather along with um the raccoon leaf. Those were definitely great addition. Those would definitely make great addition to the game. Having two of the classic um, flying power-ups in the game. I cannot hear myself speak. My my volume is way too loud. Let me lower it. Okay, there we go. Anyway, Koopa Shell. We haven't shown this thing yet because it only appears in like three levels. You get on it, and voila, you're on it. You can run over enemies. And they turn into coins. Like normal. And you get off of it by pressing the- No! Darn it. Anyway, yeah. I don't really use the shell that much, because... Well, I do use it whenever I have it, but... Not when I'm trying to get 100 coins, because... It's very annoying. There's only one level in which I've ever used it, and when I used it in that level, I got 200 coins. Not 100, but 200. And trust me, you don't get anything from getting 200 coins, you... Just get a one-up at the very end of the level, like normally. Which is a shame, I thought I was gonna get- Oh my god, I'm so close to 200 coins! Aw, oh, no second star for me. Oh, 
Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys something pretty funny with a with a chain chomp. Look at this. 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 Get out of my way! Ya fool! Oh man, I'm in the wrong level. I should have done the King Bob on returns level. That would have gotten me more points. Roar! Oh my god, I'm spending most of my time just collecting coins in this video. Oh well, better time than never. The wing cap really works well combined with a cannon. I mean, look at this, look at this. Look at me right now. Look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Flying! Anyway. I can never do this in one run, like one um go. Flying through all these rings. Oh, I missed. Every time I run I need to get a hundred coins, I always use these rings as my coins. And it's really hard to get the coins. Also, am I the only one that looks like that thinks that it looks like on the background that the water is like falling at one point for all eternity, and this island's just floating there? What? Oh, you're supposed to go to get the coins in the middle. Oh, I thought you were just supposed to fly through the middle. Then I missed everything. Uh, this this is gonna be one interesting star. Well, two stars actually. Ah. Wow, I actually got that. Yippee! And there we go, all five of them. But I still need to get a hundred coins. We. Something um, that not a lot of people know about the wing cap is if you hold down the jump button, you will softly fall and you won't get fall damage. Seventy coins. Okay, now I really have to collect every single coin I can. I'm running out of coins in this level. Oh my god, this is so awkward. Oh, come on, game, you're driving me into singing mode. Come on. That's it. You go smash. Oh, wait, I already got you? Mm. Okay, I really am running out of coins now. Something I really hate in this game is when you get a coin while you're sliding. Um, that only- that really annoys me at, um, two levels. Um, it's, um, the Mushroom Mountain, whatever it's called, level. And, um, in Sherbert Frostland, I think that's what it's called, I have no clue. Anyway, I'm just gonna run over innocent beings that aren't really innocent because they're evil. EVIL! Eh. 
Hey, <laughs> get a coin. A coin get. Badger get. And we finally reached our goal. Took us 15 minutes. Whoops! Technical difficulties, folks. Don't worry. Nothing happened. I just saw a part of my desktop there. Ow! Which is something I gotta say is really, like, a nice feature in this emulator I'm using. It allows you to have both screens, or just one screen if that game really doesn't utilize the other screen that much. For example, in Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, Phoenix Wright, well, I guess you do need the bottom screen occasionally. But that's what's pretty cool. You could you just change which screen is the bottom. Where am I going? You can just change which screen is the bottom screen and which one's the top screen. Although that doesn't mean you're going to be able to touch whatever's supposed to be the top screen. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Wee, I live. What the crap? Yes, I say crap, I don't say what the hell. Deal with it. Anyway, that wraps it up. We've finally gotten all the stars, wops, for power, fortress, whatever you want to call it. And in Bob on Battlefield. At least I think I got them. Yeah. So, yeah, there's not really much to say anymore. Except in the next episode, we're going to be starting whatever this place is called. Actually, no, we're not going to be starting this area. I want to... Just one more star before we leave off. Before we sign out. In the next episode, we're going to start this area. Even though no matter how hard we try, we won't be able to get all the stars in it, I think. But before we enter that area, we're going to get up here. And enjoy ourselves. Before we drown to death, of course. Yeah, this level's timed. Well, not really. Te it's technically not really timed. But if you don't get to the end before your air runs out, you're dead. Also, the sky really doesn't make much sense. We're in a box in the sky, and the sky has th four different colors. Either that or the windows are different colors. But I'm just gonna say the sky is different colors, because that's what makes more sense to me. wraps it up for today, for right now, not for today. And the next episode, yeah, we're going to take on the next level. This thing. The Japanese version, not the American version. The American version was too piratey for this version. So yeah, Pikachu 13, signing out. <laughs>